Yeah, again, um, we decided to make another short tutorial video um, regarding the mapping. So if you saw the last video, the first mapping video regarding mapping, you, you are familiar with the setup. So we have to set SOMI1 to input and as an output and enable the monitor to input. So uh, an active connect or um, yeah, the, the communication is established between the hub and Ableton Live. So you see two sensors are connected and this hub is found. So um, just a small important note, when you are soloing a control change controller to map something, like again, let's use for example the tilt X, I'm soloing it, same as in the last video, I'm selecting the, the parameter now I want to solo, the cutoff in this case. So now it's mapped, I move the sensor a bit. Before you solo another uh, parameter, make sure to unsolo it again. This is important. So now then you can uh, select another parameter again. And if the solo is active as well, and you are um, clicking the save button, uh, it's uh, the save button, uh, the save command is ignored because otherwise everything else would be muted. You don't want that. So if I would click save now, you see the LED doesn't change, so it's ignored. If I'm unsoloed again and I'm clicking save, the LED turns slightly blue or up green if you click apply. Okay, so remember to always unsolo again, uh, unsolo again when you solo something. But now I want to show you another um, very cool feature how to, to solo another uh, specific parameter. So I will just delete the old mapping again, which was this one here. And now I want to map the filter cutoff again, but I'm not using the solo command here in the max tool. Instead, if you're looking at the, on the SOMI1 hub now, we can also use the push encoder to solo something. And this is very cool because if you, for example, have connected SOMI1 directly to your hardware instrument via the uh, MIDI host port, a USB MIDI host port or the TRS MIDI port, and you don't have a comput computer connected, um, yeah, you also want to solo and you don't want to always switch to a computer to, to make uh, some specific um, settings. Um, to, um, yeah, and you also want, want uh, to use MIDI Learn. So there's another way. And this uh, works that basically the movement data is analyzed in real time and the parameter which changed most is selected to be soloed. So let's say I want to solo now the tilt Y angle, which is this compass angle here. And now I will press the push encoder and keep it pressed. And now we can see that it's flickering in colorful, uh, yeah, different colors, which means right now it's um, analyzing the movement data and it's analyzing over a window of two, uh, one second. So in one second, the, the time window, the movement parameters analyzed. So I will basically just now turn it slightly around the tilt Y, uh, tilt uh, Z angle. And I'm releasing the button now and you see it's solo again. And now the tilt Y angle is selected because I use this most. So I will demonstrate again. Now we can use the MIDI learn. Suck. And I will press the button again of the hub to uh, unsolo again. So now we can see it's white again. And by the way, always you're pressing the button, uh, the Bluetooth starts searching again for, the hub starts searching again for, for different sensors. So let's see, now I'm moving around the tilt angle and you see it's correctly mapped. And to prove that it works well, let's use the tilt Y angle now, which is this movement. Again, I'm pressing the button on the push encoder. I'm keeping it pressed. I'm moving slightly around the tilt Y angle. It's soloed again. I will enable the MIDI learn functionality again in live. And you see, already see, here's controller 70 now instead of 18. I will press the button again and you have the tilt Y map to the filter resonance. So this is a very niche, uh, nice feature for um, for the ease of mapping. Um, yeah, which is which is really cool. So this was a very short video. How another way to to map it, and this is of course very, as I said, very interesting or very useful if you are directly using SOMI one with any, uh, with uh, any hardware instrument without a computer.